Good morning and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to show you another plant from my window, another plant that I keep here um, on the window where uh, there are plants that do not require winter rest. There are plants that are staying here for the, uh, for the whole year. In the winter, of course, the temperature here are a little bit lower. Uh, than in the summer, although in the summer uh, the air conditioner is on and in the uh, winter there is heating. However, I don't heat up the entire room uh, at night for a temperature as high as during the day. At night I keep it at about 16 degrees Celsius, so on cold days that's where it drops. Okay, so um, there is a little bit of a change of the temperature during the year. However, it is still uh, warm here. And unlike cacti that need to have lower temperatures that go to the basement for the winter, these plants do not uh, require such drastic drop of temperature. These plants that are on this window require to have to be in the warmth all year round. This plant is Monanthes polyphylla. And Monanthes polyphylla is extremely interesting just because it is an endemic plant to the Canary Islands. Endemic means it is not found anywhere else. So this is a plant that in nature, in the wild, can be only found on the Canary Islands. I'm not sure whether it's on the, all, of the, all of the islands or only on one of them or a few of them. I don't know. But this is where the plant comes from. It is a plant from the family Crassulaceae. It is a plant that uh, must have a long time ago uh, before it drifted to the Canary Islands somehow, uh, must have looked like all of the Crassulaceae. But because it was evolving in isolation for a long time, it looks much different than, the all, uh, than all the other Crassulaceae plants. Okay, this is the body of the plant. Okay, and these are the flowers. Let me turn the pot around so we can peek into the flowers because they are very, very pretty. I hope you can see how pretty they are. They are not colorful at all. They are miniatures. But you know what? I really like miniature flowers because when you magnify them, you can see their beauty. Okay, so these are the flowers. And as you can see, the plant uh, blooms abundantly and it is a very easy plant to keep. Uh, I didn't consider is it easy until I started watering it quite abundantly again. Um, I kept it in a pot with another plant, with my Ficus Benjamina, this one. So here in this pot on the bottom, I kept this plant, I kept a few cuttings that I got from someone and nothing was happening. I watered it once in a while, just like I was watering the ficus, but uh, nothing was happening for a very, very long time. And then I took a few of these, of these uh, heads or like cabbage-like or salad or lettuce-like uh, heads Okay, and I planted them in a separate pot and I started watering them and then they exploded on me. They covered uh, very, very quickly, they covered the uh, area of the entire pot and then they started overflowing. Uh, and these overflowing parts, they are very easy to root you, if, you, if you break them off, which happens very easily and then you put, you put it in a different pot they will root right away okay so uh, this is a very easy plant however it requires water it is a plant that is uh, growing on rocks that uh, stone walls 
This is a plant that is growing on, not necessarily in a substrate on the ground, but it grows on, on uh, rock walls and it doesn't have much, uh, there, there is no much soil there. However, because it's on the islands, it is quite uh, humid there. So that's where the plant takes it water from. Okay, so this is it. This is my Mananthus polyphylla, beautiful plant, grows really quickly if you water it. However, if you don't water it, nothing happens to it. It just stays there and waits till it's watered. Okay, that's the cycle. And it blooms regularly every year at this time of the year with these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers. And the flowers last for a long time. However, uh, the plant blooms only once a year in spring. Okay, so this is it. This is what I wanted to tell you about my Mananthus polyphylla. I hope you like it. I hope you appreciate how beautiful it is because I like it a lot. Thank you very much for watching my video. Have an amazing day.